In this video, we will demonstrate how to apply a fillet seal with six specialty nozzles that range in shape to better contour to the fillet. Traditionally, fillet seals on L-bars or T-bars may be applied with a standard Semco nozzle. Aircraft manufacturers' process specifications typically define the amount of material that must be applied in a fillet seal and at what thicknesses. In using a nozzle that is specialized for the application, the end user benefits from a reduction in wasted material, increased throughput, and an improvement in the quality of seal or bond. The Semco No. 425 fillet nozzle has a 1 8 inch by 3 8 inch orifice and is designed for applying sealants or adhesives from left to right. The Semco No. 426 fillet nozzle is identical to the No. 425 fillet nozzle with the exception of a smaller step intended for fillet applications with a shorter height. The Semco No. 427 fillet nozzle also has an orifice of 1 8 inch by 3 8 inch but is designed for applying sealants or adhesives from right to left. The Semco No. 428 fillet nozzle is identical to the No. 427 fillet nozzle with the exception of a smaller step intended for fillet applications with a shorter height. The Semco No. 429 fillet nozzle has a unique 1 16th inch by half inch orifice that does not have a step. The No. 432 fillet nozzle has a pivoting head that can adjust with the height of the fillet and apply a continuous bead of material from left to right or right to left. In accordance with the aircraft manufacturer's process and material specifications, clean and prepare the substrate accordingly, which may include the use of adhesion promoters. Proper surface prep is one of the most important steps in ensuring a sufficient bond or seal is achieved. In preparing for your application, observe the necessary personal protection equipment measures, such as safety glasses and gloves. If using material packaged in a barrier style or injection style SEM kit, mix according to the instructions. Remove the flange cap and the dasher rod. Affix the number 425 nozzle to the end of the cartridge. Install cartridge into retainer and then into the Semco dispensing gun as pictured. Apply the number 425 nozzle to the fillet holding the gun at a 90 degree angle and begin extruding material. The number 425 nozzle is designed for applying sealants or adhesives from left to right. To apply sealants or adhesives from right to left, install the Semco number 427 nozzle into the cartridge, then into the retainer, and finally into the dispensing gun. Place the number 427 fillet nozzle on the fillet at a 90 degree angle and begin extruding material. For a fillet application that has a variable height, use the number 432 nozzle. Install the cartridge into the retainer Affix the number 432 nozzle to the end of the cartridge and then install the retainer into the Semco dispensing gun. In accordance with the aircraft manufacturer's process and material specifications, clean and prepare the substrate accordingly, which may include the use of adhesion promoters. The number 432 nozzle has a rotating head to contour with the changing landscape of your fillet and allows the dispensing gun to be held at different angles. This nozzle allows the end user to extrude a continuous bead of material, likely improving efficiency and reducing tooling. Semco has several pneumatic and manual dispensing guns to choose from, as well as standard and specialty nozzles. To maximize your efficiency, select tools tailored for your application. For more information, please visit our website at www.semcopackaging.com or call 1-800-AeroMix.